In this video, I'll cover all you need to know about the ICT concept change in state of delivery. So be sure to watch until the end. A change in state of delivery, CISD, is really just an order block. And if you know what an order block is, you have probably already seen this a couple of times within price. So now I'm going to show you a couple of drawing examples on how a change in state of delivery looks like. First of all, we want to see price reach up for an important level that could be a major liquidity pool or a PDRA. After that, we want to look for the last up close candle or consecutive up close candle going up into that important level. Then we want to see price close below the up close candle or consecutive up close candles. And it just has to close below the lowest body and not the wick. Then the change in state of delivery is valid. And we often use a change in state of delivery as a confirmation tool. And this is how it looks like in a drawn example, where price reaches an important level, then closes below the up close candle or consecutive up close candles, makes a retracement after that moving lower. Over here, a bullish example, price reaches an important level, then price closes above the highest down close candle, and it doesn't need to close above the wick, just the opening price. After that, the change in state of delivery is valid, and then we can anticipate price moving higher, as we use a change in state of delivery as a confirmation tool. Down here at our drawing example, price reaches an important level, closes above the down close candle or consecutive down close candles, makes a retracement, after that moves higher. So that's how we can recognize a change in state of delivery within price. Now for our first chart example, we see price makes a retracement down into this balance price range, BPR, that was within AOTE. And this is on the hourly time frame. And what do we see? We see that price reacts from this balance price range, creating a change in state of delivery. As we see, we have these two consecutive down close candles that was down to an important level. And we see price closes above the highest opening body. So that means to change the state of delivery is now valid and we could anticipate a reversal and price also reaching this buy side liquidity. And we see price takes out the buy side liquidity. But now let's go down into a lower time frame and see why this wick down to the balance price range is so important. Down here at the five minute time frame, we can see that we have the one hour change in state of delivery that occurred at 4 a.m. And we also have the one hour balanced price range, BPR, that was within a OTE. Then remember the wick that I said was so important on the higher time frame? That is these two consecutive down close candles, which leads down into the balanced price range where price made a reversal from. Then price made a close above the highest opening price of this candle. And it didn't close above the high of the wick, which wasn't necessary. And then this change in state of delivery is a confirmation that price is willing to move higher from this reversal down here. And that we see price does going higher, taking out buy side liquidity. Now that we have got a confirmation that price is willing to move higher, as we have seen this change in state of delivery or the five minute time frame has occurred, we can go down into one minute time frame and take a trade entry. Down here on the one minute time frame, we can see that we have the balance price range, BPR, the one hour balance price range, the price made a retracement down into and then made a reversal. And on the one minute time frame, we also have consecutive down close candles leading down into the reversal, creating a change in state of delivery when price closed above the opening price of this candle. Then we see price closed above it, made a retracement after that moving higher. And we can actually use our standard deviations on this manipulation leg from this low up to this high and then target the minus one to minus 1.5 range as that is a bread and butter target. So if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter 
right here at the change in state of delivery put our stop loss at the low and then target the minus one standard deviation which would make a 1.3 risk forward ratio and we see that price actually goes way higher taking out the minus two to minus 2.5 range next up on this example we see the price ran buy side liquidity which is a important level then after that made a change in state of delivery and when price creates a change in state of delivery after sweeping a buy side liquidity that in my opinion confirms the reversal so in that case we could short at the change in state of delivery put our stop loss at the high of the change in state of delivery as when price has confirmed the reversal from the change in state of delivery the high should not be ran and then target sell side liquidity which could be this low down here but this is on the hourly time frame so price creating this change in state of delivery is a confirmation in itself but this wake up here there is going to be up close candles on the lower time frame so in that case, we could also anticipate a change in state of delivery occurred on the lower time frame when price ran the buy side liquidity. Here on the five minute time frame, we can see the price ran the buy side liquidity. And then we have these four consecutive up close candles going up, taking out the buy side liquidity. Then price made a close below the changes in state of delivery. After that made a retracement. So in that case, that confirms price is willing to reverse from taking out the buy side liquidity. So in that case, we could take a trade entry, put our stop loss at the high, and then target sell side liquidity. And we also see we have a lot of low resistance liquidity. And right now we are currently in the AM session. So in that case, we could target the London session low as that is a drawn liquidity in itself. We see that will make a 1.5 risk reward ratio. <clears throat> and we could also use our standard deviations on this leg as it is a manipulation leg. And also target the minus 2 to minus 2.5 range or the minus 1.5 range as we see that aligns with the London session low. Before we go into the next example, I've made a list of what I think is the most important thing about the change in state of delivery. So first of all, the high of a change in state of delivery slash the small money reversal should not be ran when the change in state of delivery has been confirmed. So right here we see the price made a retracement up into this important level, which is the CB that was within a discount. So in that case, we can anticipate a market mega sell model. And this up here would be the smart money reversal as price made a change in state of delivery. So then we don't want to see the smart money reversal getting sweeped, then target a low. Then we can use standard deviations on the change in state of delivery as it often is a manipulation leg. Also a change in state of delivery is often the low risk buy or low risk sell in a market maker model. We use the change in state of delivery as bias on the higher time frame or as a confirmation tool. A change in state of delivery is an order block and also an important level must be reached before we could anticipate a high probability change in state of delivery. So now let's go into the next example. Now for the next example, we saw the price reach an important level. Then we have the one up close candle going up into that important level, which is the change in state of delivery. So as I talked before, before, now that the change in state of delivery has been closed below at the opening price of the candle, we could anticipate the high not being ran as that is the smart money reversal. So in that case, we could check a trade entry or use this as a confirmation tool when price reach up and then move lower. And then of course, target sell side liquidity. But this changes the delivery of personal use as a confirmation tool. And then I will be looking at this wick, which tapped up into this change in state of delivery. This one right here. So that's what we're going to focus on on the lower time frame. 
down here on the lower time frame, we see that we have the change in state of delivery, which is right here. Price consolidated around that change in state of delivery. Then price ran this high, moving lower, creating this order block, which price then made a retracement up to. But this was out of the AM kill zone. Then 8.30 occurred. Price made this large imbalance, which we see price also made a retracement up to. And this right here is our trade entry. As we see, this is a change in state of delivery where price reach up for an important level. Then we saw also the price made a retracement after that moving lower. So in that case, we could take a trade entry, put our stop loss above this high, then target sell side liquidity. As we see, that will make a 1.6 risk reward ratio. But we could also use our standard deviation from this high down to this low, and then target the minus 2 to minus 2.5 range, which would make a 2.49 risk reward ratio. And we also see after that, price reach up into this further gap, moved lower, creating another change in state of delivery, price made a retracement, then moved even lower. And we saw that we could use the higher time frame change in state of delivery to our advantage as it confirmed that price created a smart money reversal and was willing to move lower. And that helped us finding bias also taking this trade entry. And we could put our stop loss above this high as this is also an intermediate term high. And when we're on the sell side of the curve, every high is going to be high resistance liquidity. And that we could also see. So that's how we can use both higher time frame change in state of delivery to our advantage and also the time frame change in state of delivery as a trade entry.